Hello everybody, I'm in the bus, I'm spinning around and showing you. It is a mess in here, let's see if we can see this here, see the mess? Uh, cabinets are still down, they're back there somewhere. I'm, believe it or not, I'm gonna be living in this uh, for actually just a night. I got a hockey tournament in Rochester I'll be going to. So I'm going to be staying in it, hoping to get it a little more put together. For some reason, you can see down here, I ripped out the bunks for the kids. I believe I talked about why I was doing that. And I'm rebuilding them now, even though I won't need them for me, but I feel like the bunks in this build are kind of the anchor point. Everything is based around it. The bathroom position is based on where the bunks are. The kitchen position, fridge position is all based on where the bunks are. So that's why I'm starting there. I've got a lot to do. It's Friday afternoon. I'm hoping to really kick butt on this thing. It's warm, sunshine, it's great. So let me show you what I'm working on and where I hope to go. So this is where I'm at currently. Uh, and I, I purposely, I'm only doing one side at a time to kind of control what I'm doing. This is what we had before. Uh, and I th I'll just re-explain. What we had before was this lift system here where you can lift stuff up and you can get it storage underneath there for each kit. But as you can see, it doesn't always line up. Same thing down there. So the missus and I talked and we are moving to a drawer system. So let's get down here. Three drawers on the bottom. It's about a foot high and uh, there'll be pull out drawers. So each kid gets a drawer, four kids, six drawers. Well, what are the other ones for? Uh, one's just gonna be an extra one, or maybe the older kid will get it, whatever. Uh, it's a pretty pretty lightweight build right now, but it makes sense to me. And then the way I'm doing these, I'm actually building the bases for these. I've got another base for over here. I'll probably build it, but not put it in yet. And then the base for the dinette and sofa and sofa will basically be the same style that those are. So I'll be building those all this weekend. So that's uh, that's pretty much what my next, for sure tonight, maybe tomorrow, is going to be spent doing. Hopefully uh, we're gonna get somewhere. Sometimes I feel like it's not moving fast at all. I mean, this is pretty much the way it's looked for six months, I feel like. <sighs> but we got solar up there. Remember that? That was pretty fun. All right, I'm out. All right, here's a, here's a tip for anybody trying to do carpentry in their bus. This thing is not square. The floor slants, the walls slant. So look at this. Tied up at the edge, tied up at the bottom gap in the middle. Oh, it sucks. But here's one trick I have. You take your ye olde square and you make sure you're square, square enough on, uh, see, you know, we're, we're tight there. It, it gets a little wobbly, but it's not, it's not bad. Um, you go against the ceiling because the ceiling is level front to back. But the floor is not. I'll show you. We're flat up against the floor and we got a big gap here. So that's something to keep in mind. It does mean that this gap on the fridge here, see we got a bigger gap here and as we go down to the bottom we get a smaller gap. And likewise here the biggest gap is at the top and at the bottom it gets a little bit bigger. That's because the fridge sits on the floor, which is slanted. You can kind of see a little bit. 
I'll put some kind of board or something back there to cover that up. Don't worry, it'll look nice. So everything was that way. And I squared up all of my walls. No, oh. oh. Hard to do this one-handed. I think there's a, that's what she said joke in there. So that's pretty square. You know, I'm not... They're not always going to be perfect. Oh, right. Had to clear out some room over here. So I can do whatever. I don't know. You know, I got to make all these boxes here. Alright, I'm back at it.